This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Oh, what's up, people? Dobbs World Sprite here, and welcome to another month of po of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon Pack of Rings. This month it's June, and to also to let you guys on, to be honest, this is the only Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening of the month. I know it's not a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh to this month. There is quite a bit of Pokemon, but hopefully I give you guys something good today. So please check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. And today we open up two special boxes of Jewel Overlord, including a special oversized card inside. Now just to let you guys know, I never really bought these because it was, like I said, a quick story. These came out on the very first day of the, of the virus, so a lot of them, a lot of people couldn't get them. And also for me as well... I completely forgot about them, but luckily, I went straight to Card Empire, asked him if they had any. He said he had two more boxes left, so I picked them up from him, so that's awesome. Um, we did do open up a few of them in a few months back, but I had the worst luck. But to be honest, I've now figured out which cards are worth the most and which ones are not worth the most, so hopefully the price in English pounds are on, the, on at the bottom of the screen. Because, like I said, I am from Britain, so of course, the prices should be... English, not American. So if you guys are American and you don't have a clue what the English price is pretty much is, well, to be honest, neither do I. I don't have a clue what the... Um, but like I said, English and American prices are like a small little margin different. And oh, yes! We get the black and white damaging girl. That is awesome. Oh, yeah, that's so awesome. I'm so happy we get these. I'm really happy. I don't have a clue how much these are worth, so I'll probably put the price down below. So we'll go ahead, let's get these banged right open. So you get yourself six packs, and I don't remember how big the set is, but if I remember, it's a very big, massive set, so uh, it's going to be quite a roller coaster to know what we might have and what we may not have. Because if it is big, I haven't got my hopes up. What's the next card? Oh, nice! Tour Guide of the Underworld! Okay! I actually like that artwork too. That's really darn nice. I think that's the new alternate artwork. That's in Dual Overlord. But either way, I am super happy that um, we got that card too. Uh, so what's the price of that card too? I wonder. Thank you for telling me that, Dobsy. I'm sure I might have to find the price of them cards on eBay or something, but I'm not going to open these up because they're going to stay pristine condition. I'll probably lock them away in my folders. But either way, we've got 12 boost packs, and how many cards are in the set? Wow, there are f three. There's a hundred of them. There's a hundred cards in it. So there's going to be a lot of cards that are super super cheap. But like I said, I might not put the put full price on every single card because some of them are not worth it. If they're like over a quid or something, I may put a price on it, but. The ones we mainly want to look for are the ones that are very, very expensive and valuable. And I think there is one that's worth 25 quid. I know that there's a trap card, if I remember, that actually is valuable. And right from the start, we get ourselves one of the cover cards, which is the Sky Striker Ace, a uh, category. I don't remember the full price of all the cards, and I don't remember which one's the most valuable, but I do remember a few of the pictures, so that's the thing I need to remember. Now, I apologise if I, my voice is a bit wheezy today. It's because um, I've just woken up. So I thought to myself, how is it? I'll make a video with you right away today. And we get ourselves the wire strikes. So pretty much this uh, this video may be not fully exciting, depending if we get anything good. But the other thing that's really good, though, every single card is an ultra rare card. So easy enough. If I don't, make, if I don't pull the good cards or anything, I'm sure I might get a bit of money back. We've got extra hero, extra hero, infernal divorcer. Another card that used to be an expensive card back in the day. Malefic Sector, Card of Fate, and Psy Frame Lord Omega. I remember being I remember that card being extremely valuable back in the day. That's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. But still, I really want the upside down relinquished card. That's something I really want. But I know this card is the most valuable card in the set now at this date point in time as this day is being recorded so that's what we mainly want to look for we got rose bell of the revolution cubic which is not what we want we got Ma Mis magical Mus musketeer k 
King Dragoon, which is a classic. Lord of D and the Divine Dragon Ragnarok, sweet. Speedroid Marble, sweet. That's all right. And still, not the most valuable card, to be honest. If I do see something, like I said, it will pop up on the screen right away when that card's popped up. Royal Bell. We've got the Emperor Trelljaw. Miracle Light. Malefic Divine. And, oh my god, what giraffe. Oh my goodness. At this moment in time, people, we are getting really bad luck. But either way, it is the start of the pack opening month, so hopefully we'll get something good later on today. Triple D, Abyss King, nice. Mystical Space Haven, that has to be worth something. Oh, come on, it has to be. It's a classic. Sector. Oh, there we go, I'll take that. Ojama Emperor. You guys know I like my, my Ojamas. I'll take that any day. Next pack, come on. We've got to have something good today. There we go, there's the card that we want too. Tour Guide from the Underworld, classic card, everybody likes using her. We've got ourselves Umbrella, a Kingyo Suki, Super Vehicle Roid, nice. And is that the Harpies? No, it's not, it's Histian Sign. Okay. Still don't have a clue if I've got anything extremely valuable because, like I said, I don't remember all the pictures, but hopefully we get something good. Artifact Dagada, nice. Another sign. Cybernetic Overflow, sweet. Speedroid Hexasource. Another Emerald, and still nothing. Really? Are we still not going to get upside down? Relinquish. That's the card I really, really want out of this set. We got Star Leader Dragon, Musketeer, another Omega, sweet. Terraforming, and a penis. Oh my goodness, we are really not getting anything today. Hopefully, our luck does change this week and this month, to be honest, because this is looking really, really bad. We got Union Carrier, that looks like a nice, good card. Synchro, Wise Strikes, another Emerald. Selector, we're just getting duplicates after duplicates after duplicates. There's a hundred cards in the set. There should be better, better pulls up than this. Cynet Mining, sweet. Another Dark Dragon. Another Wise. There we go, a bit more of a viable card, to be honest. That's good. Ancient of Ascendant, which I remember being a pricey card back in the day. Another Synchro. Oh my god. How many duplicates have we got in a matter of less than less than 10 packs? That's nuts. So we've already gone through 50 cards already and we've just been pulling duplicates after duplicates after duplicates. Is there, there must be a definitely a short print of some cards. The Last Warrior from the Another World. Old classic reprint. And it's got a massive error smudge underneath. So that's a bit of a bummer. Another cubic card. Absolutely useless. King Yo. Oh my god. Another giraffe. Are you kidding? One pack, and it looks like we may not even pull anything again. I don't think I'll ever be opening up Jewel Overlord ever again. Okay, Chaos Dragon Leviathan. Okay, not bad actually, a good card. Dangerous Frightfur, Nightmare, sweet. Nice, White Mare, now we're getting some good cards here. Deck over, lock, Deck Lockdown, and another sign. Oh my god. To be honest, I don't think we've got a lot, a lot of great cards in there. I think them two cards are quite pricey, but to be honest, like I said, I don't have a clue how much I really made out of there. I probably make, made a bit of a profit, but not as much as I want. But either way, over 50 cards, they're all holographic, you can't go wrong. I don't think I'll ever open up Jewel Overlord ever again, to be honest. I think that's really, really bad luck, to be honest. I think... The card prints now are so old, I don't think the most high, highly valuable cards are not getting reprinted, so it may be a trap, it may not be, but I can say for sure though, I won't be opening up these ever again. <laughs> Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I surely did, make sure you go ahead and check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. And just to let you guys know, don't buy Jewel Overlord unless you're looking for Pacific cards, if, I, if you're looking for Pacific cards, I'd encourage you guys to go on like eBay and just buy it right away because the pull rate is quite bad, to be honest. Never mind. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Wow, Jewel Overlord. What a bummer. I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a couple of the volumes out, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!